All right. This is part two of my finds from the Jamil Temple comic book show. Let's dive right into it. All right. Um, I'm a big Andy Kubert fan. Uh, I remember reading his X-Men stuff when I was a kid, right after Jim Lee got off. Um... Uh, my brother has all that stuff. I used to read my brother's stuff. So I've been trying to get his X-Men run for a while now. And I found 20, 21, 22, and 23 at the show. So I was pretty happy about finding those. This next one I was super excited to get. Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Mike Mignola, uh, Brian Augustine. You know, it's a classic Batman story, so I was happy to get this. This next one, I really had, I, I had this when I was a kid. It's a flip cover. One of it's, one side of it's done in the old school comic art. Um, the other side of it's done in more modern art. They're both stories about Two-Face. Um, I had this when I was a kid, and for some reason, I just, I really enjoyed it. You know, 50 cents, almost everything I bought was 50 cents, all the comics. So, you know, a lot of this stuff you can just buy just because it's so cheap. Um, got some Batman Superman issues, because, you know... I collect Batman Superman, at least the good artists on it, and there have been a lot. Got another Ed McGinnis one. That's Bat Zaro and Bo Zaro. I was missing that issue. This is 22. Um, there's 29. Dustin Gwynn's run. 30. And Dustin Gwynn's run. Um, yeah. Uh, got the. Batman Spawn, and I got Spawn Batman drawn by Tom McFarlane, written by Frank Miller. This is Batman Spawn, which is DC's book. Uh, Klaus Jansen did the pencils for it, and it's awesome. Uh, got Superman Batman 46, Shane Davis. That was a pretty awesome run. I missed a couple issues out of it, so I was pretty stoked to get it. Um... Moving right along here. Uh, new Men. One, two, and three. Had to get them. Didn't have them. I have a lot of issues after those, but I was missing the first three. So, got those taken care of. Um, Savage Dragon, two and four. Two is probably my favorite Savage Dragon issue of all time because it's got Ninja Turtles in it. Um, four. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Team Youngblood 16, covered by Liefeld. This one's still sealed up, so it's got the Sentinel card in it and everything. So that's awesome. Uh, Shadowhawk Zero. I've been looking for this everywhere drawn by Rob Liefeld in a really, like, funky style. Not Rob's usual style in this book, but really just uh, pretty pretty awesome, I think. Profit Zero, because uh, Dan Panosian, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Dan Panosian is awesome. So, Profit Zero, uh, Max Half, awesome, still, uh, you, get, you could only get these from Wizard back in the day, still sealed up with a Certificate of Authenticity, Brigade Zero, Jeff Matsoda did that one, Evangeline Prophet, drawn by Liefeld, or at least I think most of it's drawn by Liefeld, covered by Liefeld. Evangeline Glory, with a holographic cover, by Rob Liefeld. That was pretty cool. Um, 
prototype number one from the Ultraverse, prototype two, and prototype three. Um, I'm checking my time. We're going to go ahead and stop this video. See you.